Hello guys, today I'm going to explain you how can we solve this problem from Lead Codes Weekly Challenge. This is the fourth problem with the highest score. So let's read the problem statement. So what the problem statement says that we are given two n balls that mean even number of balls where we have certain k distinct colors like the balls of k distinct colors and what we need to do here is we need to distribute these balls into two different boxes such that each box has exactly n number of balls and when the ball distribution is completed the number of distinct bo color balls in each box should be equal like here if because we have two balls of two different uh, two different colors the only way we can distribute each of them to two different boxes are we distribute one to each uh, to either box and then we have uh, two ball of let's say color one and one ball of color two one ball of color three what need what we can do here is we can distribute it in these many ways and out of these many ways there are um, like we can distribute it in 12 different 12 different ways and out of these 12 different ways only 8 which are satisfying only 8 ways are uh, valid which are actually satisfying the rule that uh, each of these bo uh, each of this box should have exactly same number of distinct balls and uh, yeah so for example here as you can see this this is just a distribution where this particular box box 1 and this is box 2 and uh, here the number of distinct colors are 1 and here the number of distinct colors are 2 so this is not a valid case similarly this one is not valid case however these two and these are actually valid ones so let's see how can we solve this one so to find the total probability of distributing it in the valid way we can have uh, two variables let's say one tells us the total number of ways uh, and let's say initially this would be zero and then we can also have the valid ways which can be zero so what are these going these two numbers are going to tell us if we have seen uh, like if we have distributed all these uh, boxes into each of them uh, then if this particular uh, in that case we will just increase our counter of total number of ways and also we will check whether if this particular uh, pr distribution is a valid one then we will increase the counter for the valid ways and in the end once we have done the distribution in all the possible ways we can just divide the total number of ways like the in the pos the probability would be yeah the probability would be valid ways divided by total ways all right so let's see how we can do that so that means what we can do here is we can try to distribute all of these colors into these two boxes uh, in all the possible manners and then in the end once we have distributed like each box has four four number of balls then what we are going to do whether we, we are going to check whether this is a valid or not if this is a valid one then we'll increase the number of valid cases as well so how are we going to uh, check the possible ways of distribution so let's think of the case when we we have distributed all the bo balls into these two boxes like with the possible way and in that case what can happen is that box one has either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 number of balls here so once uh, 3 number of blue balls here in box 1 so let's say for example if this box 1 has exactly k number of balls here then the box 2 will automatically be having k minus 3 number of balls I mean uh, this should be the other way it should be 3 minus k number of balls uh, let me just uh, change it what we can do here is uh, we can just delete this one and we can write another one it should be 3 minus k number of balls right so similarly we can distribute let's say for example l number of green balls here then we are left with 2 minus l number of green balls 
to be distributed to box two and same same way we can distribute red and purple ball as well so what this tells us uh, this gives us intuition that what we can do we can try and recursively give these number of I mean we can try and recursively check for each possible number of distribution for each color and then move on to the next uh, pos uh, next color box and then give let's say for example here we would have given one ball to box one and two ball to box two and then we would have moved to ball to ball uh, uh, green color ball and then uh, recursively check for this uh, for this particular distribution for here let's say we could have given zero or one or two and here as well so and then we'll come back with the one particular uh, uh, f after finding this particular distribution we would come back and then we'll try with other records uh, we'll try recursively with other possible variation for starting from uh, blue color and then green and then red and then purple so in this manner we can try to do all the possible va uh, valid distribution so why do I say a possible one as we saw that there can be as many as 2 into m let's say for example in this case there can be 8 total number of balls so we one ball can have at max as 4 ball so we only need to distribute it such a way in such a way that they can have only 4 balls each so if for example we would have given 3 balls here then here we are not allowed to give 2 balls to box 1 uh, otherwise it would it would violate the rule all right so with all these discussions in mind let's try to see what we can do uh, what our recursive state is going to look like so we can have one iterator which will tell us uh, index like the which particular color of box we are considering for now let's say if this one is zero this is one this is two this is three we can start we at any moment we can be at any particular box that means we are uh, we have chosen all the box from the all uh, till here let's say if we are at uh, green ball then we would say that we have chosen all the balls from uh, blue one and if uh, and now we have to choose the one from uh, green and then if we are at red then that means that we have chosen all the uh, balls from green and blue and we are co now considering different possible combinations from red balls so this idea tells us the particular index of uh, each box then what we need we need a number of ways uh, the total number of distinct color which are there till now in box one so let's say call it k1 and also we need the total number of distinct colors that we have considered till now in box 2 so in case when we would have given zero number of balls to zero number of green blue color balls to uh, this one we would not increase the uh, this particular uh, params parameter for and that means the k1 for k1 which tells the number of distinct ball in box 1 and k2 which is uh, the number of distinct balls in k2 uh, box 2 so after this what else we need we also need a uh, total number of balls that box one has for now so we could have also for box two but yeah it implicitly will be equals to total number of balls overall divided minus the number of balls in one one box so we can just have a number uh, to tell uh, tell you that yeah there are total number of how many balls are there so when uh, how is this going to help us is when we are going to distribute any number of balls from any color colored box so in that case we will keep in mind that the total number of balls for uh, this this num should not increase the overall ball divided by two and what else so if, if you consider let's say for example if we were to choose two ball out of these two in how many ways we can choose so we can choose this in uh, 3c2 let's say that means uh, we can choose this in n num and basically the total number of balls here that means idx of uh, n c k means uh, total number of ball here and then we can choose k balls from this one so if we have chosen let's say for example k number of ball here where k will vary from 0 till 3 in in case of uh, this one and in case of 
green wallet it will vary from 0 to 2 and so on so for now let's call it p and uh, what are we going to do here is we are going to recursively try for all the balls here all the possible number of balls in one particular box and then recursively try for a different colored box and then so on until we reach the end of the total number of box that we have that means total number of different colored box that we have and in the end we will check that how much uh, if what are we going to do here now that we have known that we were distributing it only the possible ways like the ones the valid possible ways we will in the end check whether k1 and k2 are similar or not if k1 and k2 are similar that means we have distributed these balls in in the valid way that means the way that we want it and if this is the case the total number of ways here the valid ways should be equals to uh, this particular relation and uh, if let's say we cut this out multiplied by the number of ways that we could have chosen this particular possible distribution and also the total number of ways would would uh, would simply be increased by the number of possible ways because we don't uh, we don't consider if it is um, a valid one or not we just need to consider all the valid way all the possible ways that we can distribute it so with all these things in mind let's now see how we can code this so as you can see that i have already uh, solved this one let me just walk you through my code i have uh, calculated all the possible combinatorics that we need as there the number of to total number of balls can only be six so i have calculated all the possible ways starting from zero to seven and then what we also need is total number of balls that we have and this total tot will uh, tot with uh, 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 will tell you the limit on each box uh, each box count and then let's look at the yeah and also i have initialized two variables ways and total number of valid ways so ways are the total count of possible distributions and valid tells you the total number of valid distributions and in the end we just need to uh, return the division of both of them so now let's look at this main function so as we discussed previously what we need in iterator which will let you know that which particular color we are considering now then a number a, a parameter num which will let you know how many balls are there in box one till now and then k1 and k2 will let you know the total number of distinct balls in both the boxes and then p will let you know what are the possible ways of choosing this till now uh, this particular configuration that we have and also this array that we are passing it from yeah the main gate probability function so once we have reached the end we are going to check whether the total number of ways and total number of balls in one box box one is equals to the limit or not if it is exactly equals to limit then only we are going to consider the uh, pos in this as a possible configuration otherwise we will just simply return and if it is a possible well, uh, configuration will uh, possible distribution then what we are going to check whether if it, this is the valid one uh, valid one will be the one where the number of distinct boxes in each uh, number of distinct balls in each boxes are equal that means k1 and k2 are equal in that case the number of valid ways will be equal to the number of ways we can choose this so if this was not valid it would simply multi be multiplied by zero so p would be multiplied by zero so number of valid ways would be zero if it is a valid one in that case we can have this in p different ways also the total number of ways whether it is valid or not will be increased by p so let's look at the for loop here so what I'm doing here is let's take uh, let's consider this one. So if if at any particular moment, let's say if I am at this particular box, what I'm going to do is I'll try to do uh, distribution in all the possible ways that I can do, like from zero till the number of balls that I have here. So that's what I'm doing here. So from zero till the number of total box that I have here, and if at any moment if I reach the limit that means if i'm crossing the number total number of balls that i can have in a one particular box i'll just break out of this loop 
and if if not what i'm going to do is i'll just possibly try all the possible variations like if i'll check if i'm going to include this ball like if there is more than one ball that i'm going to in include into box one then i will just increase the k1 that means the total number of distinct balls that i have considered till now and similarly i will also increase k2 depending on if i have chosen all the ball in box one or not so if i have chosen only few balls into the box one then i'll be left with some to be distributed to box two as well so in that case i'll increase the total number of distinct count for uh, second box and then uh, what i'm going to do is multiply the current number of ways of choosing this particular configuration by the number of ways i can choose uh, i box out of array of idx number of balls and then as i said i'll recursively try for all the possible variations and then in all the possible variations we'll check whether the number of well uh, will count in the number of valid ones and we'll count the number of total ways and in the end i'm just as i've described will just uh, return the division of both of the these values so i hope uh, i was able to explain you guys yeah thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel if you like my explanation